Okay, I want to talk about the database tuning advisor, which replaces the old index tuning advisor. Um, you can get to it two ways. One is under tools, and it's right here. The other way is to right click on a query window and use this right here. Now, this one right here, though, accesses it in uh, a mode to use this query for analysis. So if you're going down the road of loading your own queries to build as the workload against the database for designing uh, and, and benchmarking the indexes, you want to use this option. If you're going to use some other option, for example, if you're going to use a trace or the cache, then you want to use uh, this way of getting to it. So for example, if I hit this, it will load up and we are now in query mode so it is now attached itself to that query and it's attached itself to that database and we're pretty much ready to go except you probably want to limit which tables you're um, tuning and there's a bunch of options in here but mostly what you want to do is hit advanced and make sure that you define the maximum space so it doesn't use too much space and so that it even has enough space. For some reason it defaults to zero on my machine and it never has enough space so I always have to give it a little bit of space here. Um, you can uh, select which type of, cluster of uh, indexing you want to look at. You can look at partitioning um, and then you just hit start analysis. Once you do that it'll start running. Oh another thing you want to take into account is that you can set how long of a time limit you want to have. You can have no time limit, but what you got to remember is uh, that little uh, stop analysis button is usually not lit up. Uh, maybe it's lit up under certain ways of running uh, the, the tuning advisor, but usually when I run it, that is not lit up. So you really do want to make sure that you have this uh, limit here so that it will stop eventually. Um, okay, so your other so that's if you want to do it based on a load file and you create the load file uh, by getting uh, the queries out of your stored procedures and maybe out of your past SQL the ones that you're really interested in and if you want to have like a laser focus as to what you want to be uh, tuning and remember this is all about indexes it's really nothing but indexes it's do do you have enough indexes where are they should you drop indexes that's what this is all about okay so if we come in here and launch it it'll uh, ask us for our instance we want to connect to and here we have now have a choice instead of being locked down to query we have these three choices and the file is if you save your trace your profiler trace to a file. Table is if you save your profiler trace to a table. And plan cache is if you want to look at the cached query plans the database already has. This is really good for a production database or a load tested development database. If there are, you have to understand that if you don't have good plans pre cached, uh, in other words, you haven't been running the right. Uh, queries against your database, then this isn't going to work. So that's why you sometimes have to use these, but this one is really ideal unless you have a lot of junk plans or you don't have the, all the plans yet because this is development, in which case you want to use one of these two options. Okay, um, and of course you want to set the database, you want to set the tables, and you want to set the options. And then you run it. And that is pretty much all you need to know about it. Okay, any questions, leave them below. Like and subscribe.